Hello, the kids, and it's I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming here with another episode of Shadow of War. All right, and when we left off, we uh, did not have this guy on the map. In fact, you're probably wondering, what the fuck is this guy? What happened to Narug, the ghoul guy? Uh, well, uh, he died. <laughs> I was running around uh, trying to identify all of the, uh, all the enemies on the map, and uh, Narug just kept following me the entire time. I could not shake him. I could not get rid of him. I didn't want to kill him. But uh, it, inevitably, he ended up killing me, or at least getting close to it. Uh, when I got knocked down and he was about to kill me, a Gondorian sergeant came in out of nowhere and murdered him dead. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen, and I am sorry that you guys did not get to see it, but I'm pretty sure a similar thing happened to Brown Man in his stream. Uh, yeah, if I remember right, it did happen to him. Um, and uh, his first big, long stream segment that he puts on YouTube, that exact same thing happened to him, but with a different Uruk. So if you want to see how that actually ends up going, you can go to his channel. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't get to show you myself, but it was the coolest fucking thing to see. Because I, I was just right next to a Gondor patrol, Gondorian patrol at the time, and he attacked me. I could not defend and just got knocked down. And then, bam, killed sergeant just ran up and stabbed and cut him up until there was nothing left and then he got filtered out of the army so i guess he was actually dead ah well but yeah anyway wanted to explain myself i went through and took the time to look up all of the army every single one took a fuck ton of fucking worms to be able to get all this info but it was well worth it, I think. Get Bubal the Deep Seer, Ogbur. We got a couple of them who aren't named because they haven't done anything super special yet. We got Kuga, uh, Hoglik. That's that's a name in and of itself. I don't think you need to do anything with that. We got Shaka over here as well. Uh, Takra, and there's Luga. And I think that's it for the unnamed people. Also. You can uh, check out the people of the uh, Gondorian Citadel through this menu as well. And I confirmed what I suspected. Uh, <laughs> and I'll show that in a second. Idril is a shield maiden and the only child of Minas Ethiel's military leader, General Castamir. I was right. It was a father-daughter relationship. Or at least a familial relationship. That's what I was... That's what I was thinking, and I guess I was right. So, cool on me for picking that up real quick but then again probably everyone else did too eh. anyway she has trained for battle all her life but the siege of minas ethil is her first true experience of war and she is eager to prove herself i bet i bet and uh, here's uh, some of the other sergeants here Harion made a name for himself with an abrasive can-do attitude that has done little for his military career but inspires great loyalty among his peers which is really what you want to go for when it comes to military leaders let's be honest uh, Herion is vicious in battles, and the Gondorians are glad to have him on their side, because it, <laughs> because it is less likely he'd be on the Uruk side unless he was, you know, allied with the Dark Lord. I'm just saying. Dagor's reputation within the military forces has always been that of a loner. A veteran of many skirmishes with Sauron's forces, he is one of the few Gondorians to have survived captivity by the Orcs. And I can tell because of the eye patch that that was not fun. I bet. <laughs> there we go. And on the other side here, we got Captain Baranor. Big badass. And some, a lot of more golden armor than the rest of them. Yeah, the rest of them don't even have that much gold on theirs. So he, he's, he's really, he's really high up there in the ranking, I'll tell you what. His second in command, General Castamir. Recognized early on for his bravery and superior combat abilities, he rose through the ranks quickly to become Castamir's most trusted captain. Good on you, man. Alrighty, 
Terrandor comes from a military family with a long history of service to Gondor. His forebears all served in the garrison of Minas Ithil, training for war, but knowing, thanks to the long dormant sea of Sauron, only peace. A veteran soldier, he is respected by all. And I think you can go... Yep, there we go. General Castamir is a leader of Minas Ithil's military forces. A proud son of Gondor and a decorated war hero, he is seen by many as the only man capable of keeping Sauron's overwhelming siege forces at bay. Well, here's hoping that's the case, because right now it's not going so well for the city. <laughs> but I digress. Uh, there was Gash the Moaner, who I killed, and I think it was two episodes ago. Or was it one? I barely remember. <laughs> Anywho, uh, I tried to keep killings to a minimum, just ran away from people if I could, which I did a lot of that. So, yeah. Some of them will probably comment on that if I run into them again. Anywho, uh, we start off here. Gems. Okay, I didn't do anything with gems, I guess. That's weird. I was pretty sure I did. There we are. Get that. Oh, yeah, I didn't have time in the last episode to do that. That's right. Because I was getting murdered by Naruk. That's right, I remember now. Okay. And got gems that I could place in there uh, for the weapon. I need I need money to unlock the rest of them. I, wow, I need a thousand for that? Okay. Well, then fuck me, I guess. All right. Well, at least with the sword, it increases weapon damage. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, armor increased damage with all attacks and rune increased follower damage. That would be nice. And eventually, uh, if I remember how the system works... Um, oops, I pressed the wrong button. Like I always do in these fucking games with multiple different fucking menus. I can, in, uh, eventually, rather, uh, upgrade these to the next level of potency, the Carved Warrior Gem. And as I get more and more of these, I can upgrade them to Polished then refined, and then perfect. And the same sort of thing for the vitality gems and the wealth gems, which are fucking useful. <laughs> all of them are useful. I just want to get them all because I'm a gem person. <laughs> I am so into crystals and gems, you just don't even know. But right now, we don't have many. So, we're going to have to wait a bit. But... I've already purified the hay deers, which is what I was supposed to do. And there's a bunch of worms over here, but I'm not worried about them for the time being. Ooh, who's over there? Baga. Baga, the panderer. He is mortally vulnerable to stealth, so I could kill him outright if I sneak up on him. But... I'm not sure I should do that. But at the same time, I am sure I really should do that. <laughs> Hi there! I did not expect you here. How's that? Eh? Yeah. You terrified yet? Nope. Okay. Well, then fuck you. I'm just gonna knock you off. Whoops. I said knock you off. There we go. Thank you for listening to me. How about you? Okay. Do you listen to me? That, it's hard to tell. Okay. Oh, also, I got an uh, experience point from... Apparently, even the Gondorian captain killing him let me get an experience point. So, Narug inevitably let me do combat finishers. <laughs> that was another thing I forgot to mention. Uh, character here. Yeah, I got the execution skill from that point. So, I figured, fuck it. Why not? I'll put it there since I got the point. And it will definitely let me, you know, actually be competent in the future. Especially since my build I'm going for is, well, mainly combat heavy. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Now that that's taken care of. Whee! Oh yeah, I don't think I showed that either. Uh, I, I might have lost over it. Uh, in inventory, there we go. Yeah, the weapon I got from uh, Narug, Ghoul Keeper, uh, was the Ranger's Longbow. I have to use a ranged weapon to kill an enraged captain, which is going to be a pain in the ass because it only gives me four shots <laughs> so i have to bring them down pretty low already 
Oh god, the Sword of Dominion looks cool and green. Oh, I love it. I, I wish I could keep it forever. Ah, there we go. There's the Elven Agility stuff. Whoop! Okay. Uh, your doom, motherfucker. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. Ooh, what'd you give me? A Gondorian Longsword. Well, then. Let me look at that, then. There we are. Let me see how good that is. It's not. It's a sword design from Gondor. So at least it has that going for it. It's a cool design, don't get me wrong, but I love the gem and everything in the Sword of Dominion. Oh, it just looks so good. The green and then the gold and... Ah, oh, it's so good. I'm going to keep that forever. Or at least until I uh, get something stronger. <laughs> but I'm not sure when I'm going to get that. But I could destroy this from Mirian. I could absolutely do that. Wow, I got a lot out of it. Hey, there's a thing. Okay. Whee! I'm gonna run now. Okay, up we go. Oh, I got 107 out of that. Cool. That's what I was hoping for. Alright, um... Anything else special? Zugog the Tracker. Again, mortally uh, vulnerable to stealth. But, uh... Not entirely sure I can do that, because apparently he can track me. Whoop! Okay. There we go. Perfect. If he can sense where I am, is it really good stealth? We'll find out. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, he was of the Dark Tribe, too. Oh, well. Too bad for you. Rohirrim Dagger. Well, how about that? Hey, we finally upgrade our dagger from uh, Achan, which, uh, of course, is the sword that used to belong to uh, the here. Uh, damn it, I forget his <laughs> Oh, man, I forget his name. I feel so bad. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> I feel bad. But I shouldn't because... Uh, that's now long in our past, but the Rohirrim Dagger is a proper dagger with an actual decent point. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's good. It's so good. Alright. And now that that's taken care of, I think we should go do that main mission now. The one I put off because I was mainly running away from Navrug and I didn't have the time. But uh, I've decided now, I think... In particular, just for this game, I'm going to do 30-minute episodes. Because there's just so much to do. So much... To, whoa, what the hell did I just hit? <laughs> did I hit a tree branch, or did I hit, like, on top of the mission and it made me roll? Goofy bugs. Okay. Shadows of the past. So, I, I learned how the missions actually are supposed to work. It, you have to do all of the additionals to get specific points with that. So, if I did, like, one of the extra bonus objectives, then I would get a skill point on top of what I get for the bronze. And then if I complete all of the special objectives, then I would get a wealth gem on top of it. Or at least I assume that's a wealth gem. It's white, so I think it is. Anyway, give me a moment to drink my coffee. And there we are. Find Celebrimbor's ancient barrows. Alrighty. Well, onward we go. Well, I thought we were going to jump. Well, fuck me. Oh, that's a river. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to jump. Mordor is safe from Sauron at his barrows like these. Oh, yeah? Reminders that even the Dark Lord's reach extends only so far. That's, that's good, at least. All right, give me a second. I need to check something. Ah! 
Okay, sorry about that. I had to check the volume level. It seemed a little low. Anyway, into the Wraith world, and we have to find the secret Barrow's door. Well, that was quick. <laughs> Alrighty. In a bygone age, my army marched on Mordor. We buried our honored dead in barrows like this one. My greatest warriors are preserved here, protected by powerful magic. When we use all our arts to bring the virtues of the elves with us as we marched. And you had the wandering. Yes. And with it, I forged an army. I led the charge against Sauron. I see, this is taking me to a flashback now. Okay. Alrighty, I can do this. Sure, why not? Wouldn't be the first time. Oh, hey! And he's armed very similarly to... Talion. Huh. I'm sure it's only just for this... You know, flashback. I'm pretty sure he wasn't traditionally armed like this. He might have been, I don't know. Alright, kill enemies to gain wrath. Because I've unlocked Elven Rage. Awesome. When your wrath is full... Press uh, down on both sticks to release or unleash Elven Rage. During Elven Rage, tap, uh, tap X to repeatedly to rapidly kill Grunt Orcs. Aim at an enemy captain with it and hold X to deal massive damage to him. You also have unlimited might and elf shot for the duration of Elven Rage. That is very useful to have. When Sauron revealed the betrayal, I took up arms. Oh, geez. In my wrath, I was determined to punish him for his treachery. Well, I can't blame you. Come on. There we go. There's so many of them. It's hard to tell which one is, like, mine and which one is theirs. Come on. There we go. There we go. Getting good kills off. There we go. Reach full wrath before time runs out. Well, shit. That's gonna be hard. Come on. Jeez. I'm almost there. There we go. Getting there. Getting there. There we go. Just have to make sure not to get hit. Because that's apparently what's going to screw me up in the long run. Oh, jeez. Ow. Come on. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Perfect. Come on. I have, like, only fucking 30 seconds left. Come on. I can get... I can do it. There we go. Unleash the power of the ring. Yes, I did it. Come on. There we go. Getting it. Getting it. Getting it. Getting it. Getting it. Almost. Did I? Did I do it? It's hard to tell. <laughs> oh, wow. That is quite a shot. Just like tearing right through him. Whoop. Gotcha. Ooh, that had to hurt. And then the ring betrayed him came back to its master. The new ring. Our ring. Is not marred with his shadow. It is perfect. For you. Well, we learn why he needs the ring, because it gave him fucking unbelievable power. Makes sense. Oh, I only did eight. Damn it. 
damn it. Okay. Can I do it again? Oh, I can do it. Alright, or at least that's what it looks like. Oh. If I complete all the mission, it grants the Bright Lord's rune, and perfecting all the missions grants the Bright Lord's hammer. Cool. Relive the history of the First War of Mordor between Celebrimbor and the Dark Lord by completing Shadow of the Past missions. I might do that on my own time if I fail to do it in the, uh... <laughs> if I fail to do it in the episode, I might do it on my own time. The ring is lost for now, but we can still secure the Palantir. Then we will go to the Great Hall. Idril is there. She may be able to help us. That is true. Definitely try and do that. So I got a skill point. That's good. You have upgrades available for some of your skills. Only one upgrade can be active at any time, so choose the one that best suits your playstyle. Alrighty. And the upgrade uh, apparently is just for uh, combat and uh, executions. Gain might each time you're damaged in combat. I'm going to be damaged a lot, so I mean, that's <laughs> that's probably a way to do it. Uh, but do I want to put a point in that is a question. I don't know. Eh, okay. <sighs> what I might do... Well-timed counters knock down enemies. That, that'd be useful. Brutalize. That'd be nice to have back in the back pocket. Hold uh, to perform a terrifying stealth kill, causing nearby enemies to flee while increasing both your might and your hit streak. That'd be, that'd be very nice to have in the back pocket. Uh, mounted. Don't need to worry about mounted for a while. I don't think. Brace of daggers. That's a good thing to weave into combat. I used to do it in uh, Shadow of Mordor a little bit while I was, you know, goofing off. <laughs> figuring out some combos to do. Keep my hit streak going. But, uh... Yeah, I mean... I'd rather wait to upgrade this until I can get Fatal Might, which uh, is, you know, ba it's closer to the old Shadow of Mordor system, which I am u more used to, so that'd make it fairly easier for me to actually get some kills off. So I, I think I might wait until I hit that, which is apparently at level 11. Oh, Jesus, Ratio Christ. Okay. <laughs> and fuck me. Um, I might just do, uh, Brace of Daggers then. Just to get something I can weave into combat and actually give me some use out of it. Which would be nice. Be very nice. Okay. So, I'll come back for this off camera. In the meantime... Oh, joy. Oh, joy. I see a beast. Oh, thank you for being right here for me, you little shit. Okay. Out of focus. That's fine. Just needed to kill it. There we are. Yeah, I did not expect the Karagor to fucking sneak up on me like that, but hey. I am not surprised. Alright, so Elven Rage. I'll have to keep that in mind. That I do have that ability now. I think. Is that what it said? Or was it only for that... Only for that bit? Oh, I do have it entirely from here on. Okay, cool. Okay. Each kill gives you wrath energy. Okay. So I'll have to keep that in mind. That I now have that ability. Whee! Whee! Okay. Up we go. Oh, it boosts my hit streak counter as well. That's, that's real nice to have. Alright, is there any... any captains near me? It doesn't look like it. Okay, so the quest, the quest that they want me to do is over here. So I guess I gotta go over here. Um, what the hell is this? Oh! Oh, I see. Okay. Ruth. Is that what it's called? Ruth? Okay, I guess. Alright. I guess I'll do that at some point. Then there's also these missions that I kind of want to do. Uh, 
Gondorians are raiding Shaka's supply cache. Well, why not help them out, huh? I, th I think that's a good idea. Why not? Okay. Whee! Alright. In the meantime, I'll just be running it all the way over there. Damn, that was a good jump. It's a real good jump. Whee! War is fun. Well, I mean, for you. Oh, alright. Okay. Almost there. Ooh, take out this guy. And just a second. Yep, there we go. That wasn't how I meant it, but that's fine. I think... Huh. What's the skull mean, then? I thought that meant that there was a captain over there, but... I don't see one. That's weird. Alright. Anyway. Time to deal with Shaka. And supply raid. Alrighty. Details. Let's look at his details so I know what to do. He's vulnerable to stealth, sickly, beast fodder. And he's a frontline warrior. Okay. And everything else, he's damaged by range attacks, executions, and explosions. Which I do have a uh, execution built up in the, uh, the Wrath Builder. So, there's that. Hmm. Okay, let's go do that. And where is he at? Nobody touches this stuff. What? Right? This is our stuff. It's your stuff, huh? Well, these guys are going to be to destroy those supplies whatever way we can. Or you could just take it. That works too. And let's see if we can blow this up. There we go. Come on. There we go. Got gets damage on him. And hi there. Another chalk joins the attack. Oh yeah. We'll just have to slaughter them all. Well, I mean, if you can. Ooh. Ooh -hoo. You did. You didn't even get to earn a title. How sad for you. Mission complete. Was killed defending his supply cache. Advancing time on everyone else. Alright, so I'm nearing almost not able to do that mission. Fair enough. And that one's one pip gone. Okay. Ended up accidentally burning one of the Gondorians. I'm sorry. Oh, man. You shouldn't have ran so close to the fire, man. Jeez. Oh, I feel bad, but at the same time, I don't. <laughs> okay. Got a skill point that I can put in to something. Not sure what I want to put it into, though. Uh... Oh, I can put it into this one now. Alright. Silent Runner. No longer creates sound. That'd be nice. That'd be very nice. So I wouldn't have to worry about accidentally, you know, triggering enemies while just trying to run away. That would be nice. Alright, cool. There's that. Whoops. Forgot to check the armor that I just got because I'm an idiot. There we go. Currently, I have Gondorian armor, but I got Numenorian armor. And it's green. Ooh. Me likey. Me likey the green. Oh, can I... Oh, I can destroy this. Okay, I was just hitting the wrong button. Oops. <laughs> Oh, I like that. I like that. I like it, the green. Yeah, it's good. I like it. Okay, well. <laughs> these guys are gonna eventually have to stop, drop, and roll. Hi there! You be a good little talk and hold still so I can fill you full of maggie holes. Uh, how about no? Oh, I got new enemy type. Hunters. Hunters keep their distance and attack with thrown spears, but they are weak in close combat. Press A to dodge spears. Alright, fair enough. Uh, hi there. Oh, the Terra Tribe. Ah, oh, that's where you came from. All right, fair enough. Come here. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, you are agile. You are going to be a pain in my ass, aren't you? 
Oh, come on now. There we go. That works. Oh, you little shithead. Oh, you fuck. Okay. Ow. Oh, geez. oh, fuck you. Okay, come on. Just knock you around. Fuck it. Build my hit streak up with you. There we go. Okay. Come on. Oh, you won't let me. Alright, fine. You, you shitbird. Come on. There we go. Kill you off. And that was real close to the wall, so not a good shot. But there we go. You dead. Ooh, and I got a cloak out of that, too. Gondorian cloak. All right, well, time to run. So I'm going to keep getting ambushed if I don't. There we go. There we go. Fine. Fine work, I'd say. Well, it's more of a... I didn't want to fight more people while I'm, you know, busy figuring out my inventory. Okay, maybe a little bit. <laughs> And I was still with level one with uh, Eorth's Embrace, but now I got the Gondorian Cloak, which is just slightly better for stealth and everything else. There we go. Alrighty. Well, I think this was a productive episode. Finished off that one mission. Uh, failed to get all of the things, but at least I did it. <laughs> so there's that. And uh, now... Ooh. Grook. Grook the Black. Well, he's immune to execution. Oh, he's a new one! Oh, cool. So there's more new ones that have popped in. Oh, there's plenty of new ones. Oh, my. So, uh... <laughs> that's a thing. Apparently some of them will just get cycled out for no real reason. Fair enough. Alrighty, well... Uh, we'll deal with that <laughs> soon enough. And I think I'll end the episode here for right now. We're about at 32 minutes-ish. At least that's by my timer. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I'll see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and dealing with a lot of urks And figuring out some of the past exploits of Celebrimbor against... Sauron, because of course he was, <laughs> for you.